In today's video, we're going to look at building a simple user interface app using the V4J Designer. Now, the first thing we want to do is check to make sure that whatever our target machine is that we're going to be working on um, is available for debugging should we want to remotely debug it. So of course, we run our V4J script, check the IP address. I'm just going to maximize this window so I'm completely working within my Windows virtual environment. I'm going to go up to the Tools menu, the V4J bridge, and connect. Click the IP address of the target machine. And then let's check to make sure we're connected, which we are. And just in case that we, we want to do any remote debugging. Now let's go ahead and open up the Visual Designer. And we'll go ahead and uh, remove the what you see is what you get designer window for right now. What I want to do is show you the form and how it relates to the code behind the scenes. If you'll note, you have the text guess field where you actually input your text guess on the guessing app application. And here's where it's defined. And there is where the decision making algorithms within that subroutine are run. You have your label result, what the program feeds back to you as a result of your guess, where it's defined, and where it's utilized within the subroutine. The button guess button itself, and where it's referenced within the code. And the main window itself, which could have a lot of different things. You could have a background image, etc. But this is where it's defined within the code and also uh, shows how it's launched when you launch your application. Now let's take a look at some of the properties. Up here is the file menu where you have the standard buttons, new, open, save, save as, etc., as well as the form number, which is one. If you want to add any other items or what's called views to your form, this is the menu for it. All these different things that you can add to your applications and then put code behind the scenes to make them do something. Now let's take a look at the properties of the different fields or the different views that are part of this form one. This is the text guess property. And if you'll note the name text guess, its parent is main, which is the main form. And there are many different many different things that you can adjust here. You can adjust the size, the orientation, etc. Now we'll look at the button gut guess button itself. Also its parent is main. Keep in mind that some views, their parent can be other views, depending on what those are. And this is the properties for the label result itself. What's displayed when you make your guess, either guess smaller, guess larger, or well done. Now let's go ahead and look at how these things relate to the actual program running. Now we've launched our Guess My Number application within the virtual environment. Here's where the variables are defined that we're utilizing. Now we place a guess, 20, and we hit enter. And what happens here is by hitting enter, the text guess action calls the button guess action and then returns through the algorithm, my number is larger. If we place some other guesses. We click guess, and if we do that, it goes directly to the button guess action. We'll place some additional
additional guesses. We need to go smaller now. Every time you press enter or hit the guess button, the algorithm is running, checking it against the random number that was generated. And when we hit 46, we've hit the correct number as generated by the random number generator. Well done is displayed. And we've completed our application. Stop the application. And stay in tuned on the next video for some Internet of Things. Thank you.